welcome back to The Daily Dish. If you are looking for a tasty appetizer to share with friends or family to ring in the new year, we have just the dish for you. Jennifer Burns back in the kitchen making beef blue cheese stuffed mushrooms in this sponsored recipe. Thank you so much. Jennifer Burns in studio today, and you know that it is almost New Year's Eve. What do you do on New Year's Eve? I'll tell you, in my household, love to stay in, have friends over, and put out lots of different finger foods, lots of different appetizers. If you're going out and going to a party or friend's house, um, this is a great appetizer to also bring. We are making beef and blue cheese stuffed mushrooms. They're so good. They're so delicious. They're a crowd pleaser because the flavor as you know, like a ground beef, and of course that flavor of the blue cheese combined into a mushroom, absolutely delicious. We're gonna plate that where it looks really pretty in just a minute. <laughs> right over here, I've got my mushrooms. You can use like a cremini, you can just use like a white um, button, which is what I'm using. You're gonna take a damp cloth. This is how you work with mushrooms. You don't wanna immerse them under water because they will become soggy. So you take a, a damp, like a paper towel, you're just gonna wipe off, wipe them off, pull the stem out, um, keep the stems for this recipe. You're gonna chop them up and put them into the mixture and you're, they're good to go. We'll show one more, just let, wipe that. Just be careful, pop out that um, the stem and then you're ready to work with them. Our mixture right here is where all the good flavor is. I got some ground beef in there. We got in um, some of the blue cheese. It's just blue cheese crumbles in there. Um, we also, I also then took some of those stems and cut those up, small pieces, put those back into this recipe. I put some chives in there, just dried chives. You could use fresh. And then a steak seasoning, which I really like it because that's gonna give a lot of good flavor. Remember, a lot of your steak seasonings have plenty of sodium, so you don't wanna overdo um, that on the, on, on adding extra sauce, uh, salt. Okay, let me take that mixture and take my, um, one of my mushrooms and just show you. You're just gonna take this and you're gonna kinda pat it into the mushroom like that. Okay, that's what it looks like right there. I'll do one more just to show you how simple this is. I've cooked and ground and browned up that ground beef, of course, and then let it kinda cool and then put those um, that blue cheese and all those other mixtures in. Simple, simple. Make sure that you have your oven up to, uh, I think it's 375. You're gonna cook these for about 15 to 20 minutes. It smells so good in your house. I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna take my plate that I've got just a fun little presentation. I've got some cranberries set around in kind of a circle. And then you just, I just take the mushrooms and kind of put them in the middle. Just a pretty presentation there. Utahbeef.org is a great resource for lots of great recipes and great appetizers for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. These would also be great on game day. A lot of fun to put a bunch of these blue cheese and beef stuffed mushrooms out. They're super simple. I'm wishing you a very happy new year and enjoy these and let us know how it turns out for you. <laughs> Uh, thank you again to the Utah Beef Council for sponsoring that recipe and happy new year to you, Jen. That looks so good. Ooh,